Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neon and welcome back to another video and in today's video we'll be checking out the $5 Game Pro Gaming Keyboard and also the $5 2 Boom Gaming Mouse. Okay, so I got these two for a little over $10 at a local Dollar Tree and honestly my expectations weren't really that high for these. Now the reason I wanted to test them out is because uh, everybody knows that these type of products are cheap, unreliable, a waste of your time. They're just garbage and I just wanted to see if they were worth your money anyways. Okay, so first up we have the keyboard and as you can see, it looks very promising from the start. Now it's fully compatible with XP, Vista, Linux and most consoles. It also has 10 color modes apparently and backlit keycaps. Now the keyboard itself looks pretty decent and also that's the color to activate and turn off the lights. But overall the keyboard looks pretty good, but that's about it. Okay, so next up is the mouse itself. Now it's compatible with PlayStation 4, PS4 Pro, Xbox One, and PC. And according to the box, you can click it like a million times and it still won't break. Um, but apart from that, like I said, $5. It's called the Ratchet GMS 150K and it is made by Tuboom. And that's basically all this mouse has to offer. Okay, so on the back, it also says that it has a DPI of 1000 that you can't change. And also the cable length is 1.2 meters, which is around four feet. Okay, so now that we went over the mouse and the keyboard, now let's get to the unboxing part. First, we're going to do the mouse and then we're going to do the keyboard. If you want to skip the unboxing part, just go to the time on the screen right now. If not, enjoy. Okay, so now that we're done unboxing the mouse, now we can unbox the keyboard. And if you want to skip this part, just go to the time on the screen right now again. If not, enjoy. Okay, so now that we're done with everything, we're gonna do an RGB test. And also, this is just how they look when they're on. As you can see, the keyboard looks pretty okay for $5. Um, as you can see, the lights, it's not really RGB. It just has a red, a green, and then a blue. Uh, as you can see, it also is probably a membrane keyboard. It is extremely light. Um, but yeah, it looks okay for the price. It's $5 to be fair. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. As you can see the keys, the text, the font on the keyboard itself looks pretty okay. Game Pro. Um, I'll give it to it. It's a pretty decent keyboard in terms of looks. And now the mouse. The mouse looks very corny. It very. It tries to look very high tech. It feels very, very cheap. It's very light. It has no DPI changer, so you're just kind of stuck at 1000 DPI. And that's really it. There's nothing really special about the mouse. It's very small, so people with big hands won't really be able to use it to its full potential. Now, the last thing that we're going to do is test how the keyboard sounds. Now, if I'm being honest, the keyboard doesn't really sound that good. The keys sound mushy. It isn't very loud. It just kind of sounds like an office keyboard with some RGB lighting on it. Um, but yeah, um, I guess enjoy. Um, it's not really an enjoyable sound, but this is basically just what it sounds like.
Okay, so to wrap the video up, that's basically all I wanted to do. Now for the conclusion. Would I recommend this? Yes and no. Yes, because if you're maybe buying it for like a kid that only plays Minecraft and maybe some older games, it's not that bad of an option to go with. Same with the mouse. But also if you're on a tight budget, go ahead, you can buy this. But if you have a little bit more money, you can buy yourself a really nice gaming keyboard and a gaming mouse that is going to last you a lot longer and it also is going to sound a lot better. You're going to feel more satisfied with your purchase and it's just going to be like a longer investment. Um, but yeah, so on the screen, there will be some that I can recommend for you if you're looking for a mouse and a keyboard on Amazon for about a total of 50 or $40 if you can save up a little bit more money. Also, the Death Adder and the Logitech G203 are probably the best. Okay, so first up, we have the NPET K10 gaming keyboard. Next up, slightly cheaper, it's the NPET uh, K62 60% keyboard. It's pretty okay. And then last but not least, we have the Red Dragon K552 gaming keyboard, which is just amazing. Okay, so apart from that, that's basically it. So thank you so much for watching. And if you like this type of content, be sure to tell me in the comments. But apart from that, thanks again, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. So yeah, peace out, guys.